One, two, three, four, one. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue just thinking about you. Decorations of red on the green Christmas tree. When those blue snowflakes keep falling That's when those blue memories keep falling You'll be doing all right with your Christmas of what? and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, let's get into the holiday spirit as I break down a classic tune by Billy Hayes and J.W. Johnson. The tune was made famous in 1964 by Elvis Presley and it's entitled Blue Christmas. I'm gonna break down the chord progression, strumming pattern, and also the fancy walk up and walk down riffs you hear throughout the tune. Let's get started. Okay, a close look at the fretboard. We're in standard tuning. And we're getting started learning how to play the chords that we'll be needing throughout the song. We're in the key of E, so the one chord will be E major. If you don't know these chords, check out the chord diagrams, I'll be placing them in the corner of this video. So the E major chord is our one. We will also be needing the five chord, B dominant seven. We'll go to the four, an A major chord. And briefly throughout the song, we'll need what we call a B flat diminished. This one I will break down for you. We have the first fret of the A string, the middle finger takes the second fret of the D string, and the third finger is on the second fret of the B string. And I'm strumming from the A string down. Okay, we'll also be needing an F sharp major chord. This is a bar, bar in the second fret, and setting up our little E shape here, okay? So we have a bar on two, and fourth fret with the ring, fourth fret of the D string with the pinky, so A and D, and our middle finger is here on the third fret of the G string. Okay, my thumb is low, my index finger is nice and straight, and I'm squeezing with all my might, pressing my chest into the guitar to get a nice clean sound for my F sharp major. You could take that and turn that into a seventh too by taking your pinky off if you want it a little bit more flavor. Okay, now that you have those basic chords, I'm gonna show you how you can begin the tune using a nice little walk up to the E major chord. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. It'll persist throughout the song. And even be used on the B7 chord. Okay, so all we had there was O, one, two on the A string. Then the open E string, low. Take the E major shape and strum. Down, up, down, up. So when you're beginning that a cappella section, I'll have a blue, you're gonna come in right on the word uh. I'll have a blue Christmas. Okay, let's try that together. Ready? One, two, three, four, one. I'll have a blue Christmas. Just like that. Okay, now let's take a look at how many beats we're gonna be needing for each of these chords as we roll through the A section of the tune. So the E chord that we just walk up to, we're gonna be needing that one for eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The B seven chord. 
This is going to have four measures, so 16 beats, but you'll notice that there's a break there. You would have expected another chord to come in, but the B7 will persist. Uh, B7 chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, barring all the fancy stuff, we go right back to the E chord for eight beats. Then another two measures where you would have expected another chord, but just like the B7, it'll persist. So the E chord comes in. About you, three, six, seven, eight decorations right there. All right. So an extra four beats of E, and then four beats of E7. On a green Christmas tree. Eight beats of A major. Okay, we'll have a fancy walk down going to the F sharp, but we'll get to that later. So the A chord comes in for eight beats. Green Christmas tree. Boom, 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 boom. Then the F sharp comes in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all. Two measures. Then the B7 chord. If you're not here with me. So this B7 chord here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so eight beats uh, are implicated, but we're going to have that short stop right on the word me. If you're not here with me. We stop short by putting our hand over the strings or reducing the pressure to create that staccato strum. Okay, now let's take a closer look at that verse and start putting in all the walk up and walk down riffs that we have throughout. We already know how to get to the E major chord with our O, one, two, E, down, up, down, up, O, one, two, E, down, up, down, up. But before we move on from that, I want to show you that there is another way of doing it. Maybe a little bit more advanced. It'll look like this. Okay, so all I'm doing there is tapping the A string after I've strummed. So we have O, one, two, low E string, E, down, up, A string, then walk again. You just keep repeating that for the duration of the E major chord. I'll have a blue Christmas. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we're on the B7 chord. So to walk up to the B chord, all we're going to do is go O, 1, 2, but instead of hitting the E string, that wouldn't be right because we have a different root for the B7 chord. We're just going to strum. Sometimes I actually like to hit the D string a little bit too. Okay, so that would be the easy way of doing it. O, 1, 2, strum, down, up, down, up. O, 1, 2, strum, down, up, down, up. But more advanced players might do O, 1, 2, strum, and then jump their middle finger up to the F sharp. In action, that would sound like this. Before going back to the E chord. All right, so if you want to Throw in that F sharp, it sounds great. O, one, two, strum, down, up. E string with the middle finger on the second fret. And then if you wanted to just kind of relax, you could actually just alternate back and forth. Kind of a lime in the coconut kind of feel. So if you don't want to maintain those walk-ups on the B7 chord the whole time, and Elvis doesn't necessarily do that, we're going to sing. I'll be so blue just thinking about you. Sometimes I'll bend the second fret on uh, and whenever you do, you do that Elvis uh, Presley impression, you could bend it or slide from two to three. Okay, the next change we have is an A major chord, and we can throw in a walk up on that chord as well. Coming out of the E chord, decorations of red. All right, so that's what I like to do. A little chromatic run. O, two, three, four. Open A string as I start strumming. You'll have to phrase it like this. 
Decorations of red Christmas tree Okay, and real quick, a simpler way of moving from E to A and much easier time would just be to go O, two, four, A. Okay, and it's gonna be coming in on uh, N, four, N, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, N. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, now we're ready to tackle the A to F sharp walk down. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was A, A, strumming the chord twice, then four, four, three, three, two, and tackle the F sharp. Now occasionally I'll throw in an A7 as the first two strums of that walk down. All right, whatever you feel like is best, then we get to the F sharp. All right, with your walk up and walk downs complete, you're ready to look at the B section of this tune, which is almost exactly like the A section, but there's a different end in. Everything will be the same going up to the A major chord. Okay, so in this B section, we'll have the E major chord getting a walk up. And when those blue snowflakes start falling, this is all the same. The B7 continues when those blue memories, eight beats of E major, keep calling. A little riff, you'll be doing all the E7 chord right with your. Ah, and here's where the difference happens the A chord just four times. One, two, three, four, then the B flat diminished for four beats. That'll take us into the B7 chord, and I'll eight beats, have a blue, a little bit of riffage over those last, um, over the last measure. Blue, blue, blue Christmas. All right, actually going directly to the E string. All right, that closes us out on the E major chord, where I'd like to throw in a little ending that we'll get into in just a moment. Before we get there though, let's talk a little bit about the riffs that we have. So, when we get out of the uh, B7 chord, that's when those blue memories keep calling. All right, how do we do that? Well, we're sliding from two to three. Three times before we slide back. I might bend the string a little bit before I play the open E string. Okay, so with that riff, timing is everything. We need to hit it right after the second beat of E major. It's coming out of B7. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One more time. One, two, and. just like that. Okay, so that riff is sort of going to repeat itself at the end of this B section, in the second measure of the B7 chord. It'll sound like this. Ooh, oh, oh, have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Okay, so I count it, the B7 chord. One, two, three, four, one, two. Right there on the third beat. That gets us into the end of the tune, where I like to throw in a little coda, a little ending, just for flavor. Okay, so throwing in a little flavor of my own here with an outro, coming out of the ending of the tune. Blue, blue, blue Christmas. Okay, so all I did there so I took my E major chord and hammered onto the G string first fret, my major third. Then I had my high E string and B string plucked with my ring finger and middle finger. Now bear in mind that little hammer on is snapped with the middle finger as well. That way we can get a little bit more, a little bit more volume out of it. 
All right, so strum up to the G string, pop it with your middle finger. Then play an Asus too. Strum all the way through. Let your ring finger and middle finger pluck those two open strings. Then we're gonna go to a version of F sharp minor, 11. Okay, so this F sharp minor chord, I got the uh, fourth frets of the A and D, my first finger's fret and the second fret of the G string for a nice open melodic chord. I'll treat it the same. Okay, then the B7 chord comes back in. We're gonna be strumming it through, sliding up and sliding back to the second fret. As I pull off my pinky, then I'm gonna do a little hammer on with the pinky on the B string, and then pluck the high E string. Remember, I'm gonna continue using my hybrid picking technique. Then I'm gonna close up shop with a really nice version of our E major chord, where we're gonna be including an F sharp note here on the fourth fret. So that is open string, second fret A, fourth fret D, a little bit of a stretch, first fret G string, and then two open strings there on the top end. Okay, lots of different ways to slice and dice that. All right, congrats everyone. You've learned a bunch of new chords, some great walk up and walk down riff techniques, and also a very, very cool way to end your version of Blue Christmas. You're ready to perform. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Elvis Presley's Blue Christmas. I hope you enjoyed it and that it put you into the holiday spirit. I got plenty more lessons coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.